Well, the NFL schedule released and some notable games uh, for us to point out. We are just 141 days from the start of the season, if you're counting at home, as the Patriots and Tom Brady, they're going to host Ben Roethlisberger and the Steelers on the season opening Thursday night game. Peyton Manning averages 272 passing yards per game in his career. If he keeps that pace, he would set the all-time record for career passing yards in week nine when he returns to Indianapolis for the second time as a visitor. And Manning would break the record held by Brett Favre. The Packers legend will return to Lambeau Field on Thanksgiving as the team is going to retire his number four in its first home game on Thanksgiving since 1923, which brings up a conversation Jeff Saturday and I were having in makeup this morning. <laughs> makeup. Jeff was in makeup. Thanks a lot. A lot of And you see his, his line from last night. Well, what impressed you the most about what he was able to do? Well, you know, last night, LeBron James was clearly so far the best player on the floor that there was nothing really Boston could do. And when LeBron James gets into that mindset where he's going to be a dominant scorer, very difficult to stop him once he gets rolling. And you're going to have to do your work early. I didn't think Boston necessarily did that, but he did. He rebounded and assisted well, too. But I thought his scoring and his, and his domination with the basketball was the difference between the two teams late. Yeah, 30 points and half of those 15 came in that fourth quarter. Tim Legler is not going anywhere this morning. He's hanging out with us all morning long here, a percent of the time. Research has to do the math for me. Tim <laughs> Legler back with us now, and we just saw that history says things are obviously looking very, very good for the Wizards. This has been a roller coaster of a season for them. They started strong. They hit a rough patch. They look terrific right now, Tim. Oh, what was the biggest key for the Wizards last night? Yeah, this is the team that we expected to see all season. They were a little inconsistent, but, man, what a performance they've had so far in two games. I talked about LeBron James being head and shoulders the best player on the floor in the game against Boston. Same situation with John Wall. It's just that simple. He was making every points last night, and now they have to win two, They have to win in Washington if, if the Raptors want to go. Got to hold home court now. Uh, they certainly do. And the Wizards have been fantastic on the road because they won their first two games on the road last year against Chicago. So they have done it again this year against Toronto. Tim Legler with us this morning on SportsCenter. Kevin?